Am I the a-hole for telling my dad he needs to babysit his own children for once? So I, 15 female, I'm the second oldest child out of five. My older brother has moved out and so it's me. My two younger brothers, one's 12, one's four, and my younger sister, three. When my mom was pregnant with my sister, I would be happy to look after my younger brother because I understood it was hard with my parents at the time. But this eventually became a regular thing, that I would babysit my brother and then when my sister was born, I would also have to babysit her. It wasn't too bad at first until my mom took up some hobbies. She would go to fitness classes three days or four days a week for an hour in the evening. And so my parents got into the routine that whenever my mom went to a class, I would have to babysit my siblings. Which was extremely hard as I am only a young teenage girl and I cannot cope with a baby and a toddler on my own. Fast forward to present time where this is still going on. And although it's easier because I don't have to deal with a baby anymore, it's still hard. And now whenever my mom goes to her class, my dad will give some excuse as to why he has to go into the garden or garage to avoid looking after my siblings. So today it happened again, I was looking after my siblings. I went to the toilets because I needed to go and then I hear my dad come in and start screaming my name. I come out the bathroom to see my dad standing outside my brother's bedroom door and my little brother holding deodorant. My dad then begins to shout at me telling me I'm lazy and never do anything and that I can't even look after my own brother. For context, my younger brother had taken the deodorant and sprayed it everywhere. And at this point, I had enough. So I turned to my dad and said, Well, maybe this wouldn't have happened if you would just look after your own children for once. Then my mom came home, and my dad proceeded to blame everything on me. That I was being bratty and lazy. So, am I the a-hole? Not the a-hole. Parents aren't babysitters. They're parents. They are neglecting the responsibility of being a parent and passing it off on a daughter. This isn't uncommon. I'm sorry. The title should be read as, Am I the a-hole for telling my dad he needs to parent his own children for once? Not the a-hole. You had to use the bathroom. You're telling me back when you were a toddler and your brother was a baby that they didn't leave you for just a little bit to go answer the call of nature? I'd like to know what your mother thinks of the fact your father does nothing but tell you to babysit his children. What happened next in the story? Did your mother believe him or you? My mom and dad have a rocky relationship. My mom does believe me. However, she won't bring this up with my dad to avoid arguments. It's extremely frustrating because I would like it to be addressed to my dad properly by my mom, but only ever is when they are having a drunk argument and using me as a piggy in the middle to try prove points. And by morning, they forget almost all the arguments anyways. That's an extremely abusive behavior. Please get some help. It's not your responsibility to take care of your siblings, nor fix your parents' relationships. Not today, Hull. Do you know your mom's schedule for when she's going to classes? Start leaving shortly before she leaves. It's one thing asking you to watch them when they're both at work or for occasional date night, but multiple times a week when dad is in fact home is horrible. You're their child, not their living nanny. Not today, Hull. Parentification is mistreatment. This is why some kids cut their parents off at 18 and never want children of their own. I actually relate to this. I don't really want children of my own. I have decided to move to England and live with my grandparents for college. If I do ever have kids, I will only at most have two and they will be close in age. I know it sounds strange to have all this planned out at this age, but I'm really confident about my feelings towards my future. Next story. Am I the a-hole if I disengage from stepkids? My husband has two kids in their mid to upper teens. These kids do not like me and see me as the reason their parents will not reconcile at any point. I was not the other woman, as my husband and his ex were divorced four years before he and I met. These kiddos dislike me because I'm with their dad and they feel he should either be with their mom or alone and unhappy. I have tried for years to build a relationship and find shared interests with them, but it has gone and continues to go nowhere. I have included them in everything I can, and plan stuff and outings I know they'd enjoy for us to spend time together and bond. Here's an example. They like scavenger hunts. Husband invites them to come over for a scavenger hunt at the zoo and they're excited about it. Then he tells them I'm the one who planned it for them, and suddenly they no longer have interest, and that scavenger hunts are boring and for losers. Example 2. I planned and decorated and made the cake for the younger one's birthday. Kiddo thought it was great until her dad mentioned how much work I put into her party. 
After that, she just wanted the party to end and complained how everything was awful and nothing was what she wanted. Example 3. I got them beautiful Pandora bracelets they wanted for Christmas, but because they were for me, they got thrown to the side and not worn because nobody likes Pandora anymore. Example 4. The kids have told me in no uncertain terms the entire reason they hate me is because I'm with their dad, and that's unforgivable to them. That's just a few examples, but I have so many others, and to be honest, it's hard to take. When the kids are here, they make a point to not speak to me, or if they do, it's very short and they're disrespectful. They refuse to say thank you to me. And yes, my husband gets on them about it, but then they scream and cry that they want to go home and they hate both of us. Am I the a-hole if I disengage from them? Not permanently, but to take time to focus on my mental health. Not day hall. Your stepchildren aren't interested in having a relationship with you. You've tried. They're not receptive. Go about your business. Be cordial. But if they don't appreciate your efforts, there is no need to go all out. They live in a fantasy where they believe that if it weren't for you, their parents would be together again. It really sounds as if their mom feeds this fantasy. My cousins and aunts were exactly the same, and it created for a horrible relationship with their father and stepmom even though they got together years later too. The mom does. A few years ago, we all went to a water park resort, husband, me, stepkids, and my kids. And the mom pulled this whole thing about, if I wasn't around, it could have been them going as a family. But since I'm in the picture, that's never going to happen and they'll never be a real family again. Not they hole. They obviously don't want you to put effort into a relationship with them, so don't do it. Don't do anything to spite the kids, but don't do anything extra. Not day haul depending on what you mean by disengage. I think it's absolutely appropriate for you to take a step back from the relationship, as it is clearly bringing you great stress and upset to the detriment of your mental health. Still be present, kind, and engage with them where appropriate, but stop going out of your way to plan, bake, and buy for them. Perhaps when they've grown up a bit, they will have a change of heart and be more accepting of you as their family. Perhaps not. But right now, they've made their thoughts and feelings clear, and I think it's right for you to acknowledge that, and do what you need to do to remain happy. Wishing you the very best of luck. Info. Does your husband see this behavior from them? Does he do anything to address it? He should at the very least be supporting you. How does he feel about his children treating you this way? He is not happy and had talked to them several times, but the end is the same. They don't care how they treat me and will never like me no matter what. Based on your reply, you are not a hole. It sounds like you are making very thoughtful efforts to show them that you care, and they are rebuffing you at every turn. At this point, you need to take care of yourself. You aren't so much backing away from the daughters, as you are respecting their wishes that you are not involved with them. I'm sorry that this is such a tough situation though it's good to see that your husband truly sees what's happening. Next story is titled, Am I the a-hole for shutting down my parents after they brought up a crappy story at my brother's graduation? I'm five years older than my brother. When he was born, I wasn't very happy with him and tried to give him away many times. I even tried to run away to my uncle's house because I didn't want to share the house with him. It took about a year for me to adapt, and when I did, I loved him and I loved being his older sibling but my parents love to talk about the first year of his life and how I reacted to him. They bring it up at Christmas, birthdays, family weddings, etc. And it annoys me and hurts my brother, which annoys me even more. He's sensitive to the fact that while we're great now, I had disliked him being born so much I wanted to give him away and tried to run away when he wasn't sent away. I get why he feels that way too. Anyway, he graduated high school this summer and we had a small thing at home with his girlfriend's family, my husband's family and our family. And at this graduation party, our parents proceeded to go into the stories again. Only this time they brought up the two worst ones. The time I actually took him outside while my parents weren't looking and asked a random neighbor to take him. And the time I actually left our home and made it all the way to my uncle's because I didn't want to live with him anymore. My parents find both of these stories hilarious and laughed their butts off. While my brother looked so upset and I was trying to keep it cool. I have apologized many times to him at any time and new to a story is mentioned. But this time, I couldn't keep my anger in check. And snapped. I asked them why they felt the need to bring them up still. That it hurts my brother every damn time. And what is the point? Is it to punish me? 
Do they really think it's funny that I try to give my brother away multiple times and actually run away from home? Did they really think other people wanted to hear it? My brother ended up coming to stay with me and my husband. Our parents said I was a neha for blowing up at them like that. Am I the a-hole? Now for the comments. Not a hole Sometimes parents are absolutely clueless and don't understand their kids are embarrassed and hurt from the old stories they share. Draw up a contract that says they will never bring it up again and make them sign it. Maybe they'll understand them. Or just start not inviting them to events and not hiding it. I feel like little brother moving out to live with big sister may help reinforce it without making a contract which the parents will probably just laugh at. Not today, Hall. If your parents are aware of what it means to you and they still go around telling these stories, they must know it doesn't like it and it can be very upsetting to hear. Putting social approval above your children makes your parents a holes. It's weird too, because I don't know how many people would readily admit they didn't notice their 5-year-old was missing for a whole 30 minutes, which is how long it took me to get to my uncle and for him to call me. Info. Have you ever told your parents how you feel about all this? Reaction is perhaps a bit strong if not. Either way though, not day haul. Yeah, when I got married it came up twice directly. I even stopped them making a speech because I didn't want that broadcast at my wedding. They always find a way to tell the worst ones or go into the most detail when it's public. Last story is titled, Am I the a-hole for telling my biological mother that my best friend's mother is more of a parent than she'll ever be? I, teen female, met my best friend Grace, 18 female, in third grade. My mother had never filled out my free lunch form, and it defaulted to having to pay. No matter how many times I told my mother she never gave me lunch money, packed a lunch, or filled out the form, Grace noticed I wasn't eating or would always have to get a cereal and milk for lunch. She started offering me her fruit snacks and juice and saying she didn't want them. After a few weeks, I guess she told her mom and she would suddenly have two of everything and would give the extra to me. When Grace's birthday came around, her parents threw her a party and I was invited. My mother needed a break and decided that a party plus sleepover was the perfect time. Grace's mom, Lily, 39 female, was really nice. It was kind of off-putting at first. My mother was slash is very mean and has been in my entire life. It wasn't even a sleepover, but my mother had dropped me off and disappeared, so Lily let me stay the weekend. Grace and I became really close after that. We were basically inseparable, even if we were in different classes. My mother was missing in action, and she didn't care where it was half the time, especially as I entered middle and high school. Lily and Grace were really close. I was jealous as a kid, but Lily was always very welcoming to me. Lily, Grace, and I would go shopping together. She would buy everything for me and wouldn't allow me to complain. She got me my first bras and menstrual products. She would always buy me birthday presents, and when I was younger, she would also do my hair. My mom didn't really buy me clothes, but Lily always did. That or Grace would have clothes she didn't want anymore. Then my mom kicked me out when I was 16. I didn't want Lily to call CPS because every time they were contacted, they did nothing but send me back because my mother provided a bare necessities. So I moved in with Grace and her family. They had a spare room that they turned into a bedroom for me and have been living here ever since. Anyways, Grace and I graduated a few weeks ago. I guess my mother heard because she showed up at the graduation and started bragging about how proud of me she was. She kept saying she had gotten me to where I am today, even though I hadn't spoken to her since she had kicked me out. I started getting really pissed. I didn't understand how she could just show up out of the blue like that and started claiming anything about me. She wouldn't stop no matter how many times I told her to, so I left with Grace's family. I texted her afterwards saying she was never a mother to me and that Lily was the mother who wanted and needed. She screenshotted and sent it around. Then my grandparents and aunts started messaging me calling me a nahal for saying what I did. They kept telling me that she struggled with being a parent. I know my mother had a rough upbringing herself, and they keep bringing that up. Now I'm starting to feel bad. Maybe I just shouldn't have said anything at all. Am I the a-hole? Not the a-hole. She wasn't a mom and still isn't. No need for you to be upset that the rest of the family can't see her like you do. Tell the rest of your parents and send a screenshot of your room at the new place to and tell them you got kicked out and lived there since then. And everything Lily did for you. And if they don't support you or anything at all, 
go low contact or no contact because they don't care about you. I mean, she's right. She did get you where you are today. Her crappy parenting drove you into another family that supported you and loved you and cared for you. So she's not wrong, but she is going about it the wrong way. Not stay hell for your honesty. And if the words of your random internet stranger mean anything to you, I'm impressed by you for turning a bad situation into a good one. Your mom showed her true colors and you turned the mirror. It's not your fault she didn't like what it showed. Just because I survived you doesn't mean you did a good job. You mentioned your mother had a rough upbringing herself. Would this, by chance, be the same people who are currently calling you an a-hole? Her parents and her sister? If they did such a wonderful job, how on earth are they justified in commenting at all? Their opinion is irrelevant. Parenting is actions, not biology. Some people just aren't cut out for it. Fortunately, you have a wonderful example of a caring parent. It just doesn't happen to be your biological mother. Treasure your choice, mom. So they know she struggled, but didn't help? Didn't buy food or clothes, didn't babysit or pitch in to give her a break. Ignore the fact Opie lived at a friend's home for years and didn't open their home to her. They either watched all of this happen and turned a blind eye, or they didn't care enough to check in with Opie. Either way, they have no business commenting.